to the fourth question. Um, I've noticed that Black people don't be getting divorces. And what I mean by that is I categorize it like this. You have white people divorced, which they go through the legal system. They actually hire attorneys. They do the paperwork. They go to court. They'd be like, I'm done with that jerk <laughs> in your terms. I'm done with that jerk. He's crazy, you know. Black people, on the other hand, they just act like, oh, it costs so much. You you get tax income taxes every damn year. Like, you can do, oh, if, let's just say, because a lot of men like to say, we don't get income taxes. We have to pay. Da, da, da. Okay, well, you get overtime at your job. Don't uh don't don't fill up your motorcycle one weekend or two weekends like, like you there there's money like there's no excuse for you to be meeting going out dating how do you you can't date when you're married I hate that shit like I hate that so I've noticed that black people don't get divorces and um growing up I've heard black women say um they're worth black men are their husbands are worth more dead than they are alive. Meaning, like, uh, not like they killed them now, I but know, it's just the fact of, uh, of course, life insurance policies, but also their social security, you know? So they feel like, uh-uh, I got kids by this man. No, I want all my benefits. So I don't be understanding Black people. She got her, 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 her boyfriend over here, and they live in a life, and he got his girlfriend over here, and they live in a life. And typically, with Black men who are still married, the woman which in hindsight is the mistress, the side chick, kind of legally, you know. They be engaged. I'm like, how do you be engaged to a married man? That's not possible, sweetie. Oh, God. God, that shit pissed. Like, not, I need some blood pressure medicine. Like, God knows that shit be pissing me off. Um... Well, see, I don't believe that because my parents are both fully black and they got a divorce. But my mom, but my mom, like, she's the type of person where if she set her mind on something, it's happening. So, like, <laughs> I, 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 I guess yeah. you can't really count my parents. But my dad is the same way. Like, if they decide something is happening, it's happening. So, <laughs> but I mean, that, I mean, that's just the excuse. I think a part of it, is like you know how like uh really religious people they don't believe in divorce you know what i mean but if you want to use the r word in this then therefore they shouldn't have girlfriends or boyfriends or have kids with well i mean you're not supposed to eat okay i get what you're being when you're saying technical and stuff but you know how people pick and choose what they want to believe out the bible like they don't think uh, gay marriage should be a thing, but they eat seafood every fucking Sunday after church when they go to Calabashes or whatever. But, um, <laughs> but I, don't, I, just, they do. I don't know. I mean, some people don't believe in divorce. And then, um, like you said, some people just don't want to pay for it. They get taxes every year, but they don't want to, they don't want to spend it on that. <laughs> Listen, Greg got a car in the shop that he ready to get out. Listen, I just, I hate married men who are on dating sites are, who are dating. You can't focus on your, like, get your shit together first. Like, get your paperwork together before you come out here and talk about you want to start dating somebody. Like, that's not fair. Like, I know it's not fair. Like, it's not like, why would you do something like that? That's so weird. Like, and then women go for that? Like, I'm like, oh, no. Uh-uh. no Some women uh-uh. are okay with it. I mean, and then you also got to think, there's some people who maybe think that they're like, they're like, oh, this didn't work out. This ain't never happening again. Because, I mean, some people are like that where- Like getting married again? Like marriage once, and it mm-hmm. did not work out, and so they're not doing it again. They don't want to pay for the divorce. So they're like, I'm not getting married again, so I ain't got to worry about this shit. What, what, okay, let's go with that. So if he's like, she's ruined him his experience of marriage that's typically a guy that's usually like don't like her at all period so if anything he should use that as like fuel and fire to be like let me get away from this bitch as far as possible like i don't want her to get anything and you you know what that's another reason why they probably don't be getting married because i've heard some i know some couples where there's 
a man because usually the men usually have the assets in the relationship and he was like i'm that bitch ain't getting nothing i'm like just because you don't want to either half it or divide it period whatever the percentage may be right as an adult like sitting down with people as an adult your attorney her attorney y'all figure it out do you realize when you die she's getting a hundred percent like what? black men don't think at all they be so caught up in their ways of like she ain't getting nothing i ain't giving her nothing but when you pass she's gonna get everything and that's a, like going back to what i was saying like i've heard growing up and even now i heard black women say i'm not giving him no divorce because i want everything like i want what i want i want what i deserve and then he'll be like, you don't deserve nothing. Okay, well then go ahead and go to the, go through the divorce. Let the judge decide if y'all can't agree on something and let him decide and be done with it. Because what happens is, what's happening is these married men go out here and start dating. Of course, the woman is going to fall in love with him, right? She don't want to be with him. I look at it like I can't be with a, a guy that's already married, but y'all are separated. That's nothing. They don't even be legally separated. Like, they don't even file the paperwork to even be legally separated. They're just Black people separated. I, I wouldn't even, even if they were legally separated, I still wouldn't deal with somebody who was doing that because you're only separated. So that means y'all are low-key hoping for a chance to get unseparated. So it's like, I, st I still couldn't. I was like, you're I'm not doing separated. it at all. I'm not. Even when I've had somebody actually text, like, show me the paperwork. And I'm like, because, cause, you know, I'm like, I don't believe it. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't believe it. And so he really sent me the paperwork. And I was like, well, I mean, I'm just not doing it. Because, like you said, it's, it's a possibility that in this of them um, being separated, they might rekindle things, especially if children are involved. You know how that goes. Because when they, why, Daddy, when you're coming home, eh, right, 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 right. You know, and then, um. If you're all separated, you're hoping that there's a chance for reconciliation, and I don't have time for it. Because especially if I get my feelings in, and you know I that you're are. angry, because if we can work this out, I'm gonna go back to my wife. I ain't got time. And then the wife is gonna go extra hard anyway, because most women don't want, you know, we give ourselves to these men, so you don't want it to end like that, you know. So they our women used to always have the hope for well, and then if he see if she sees him with another woman, she's really gonna go extra hard at like right you exactly. need to get back home. You need, like, I ain't got time for that. Like and, see, and that's the thing. I feel like I I don't feel like I would ever be crazy in a situation where if my man was cheating I would act crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> or if I if it was like um just any situation I wouldn't be crazy. But in a situation like that where I like fell in love with somebody who was only separated and then they chose to go back to their wife, I would be crazy then. Mm -hmm. I'd have to ruin both of y'all lives. Because that's just... So, hold up, you really do that? Like... Yes, because <laughs> my feelings are not... what My feelings are not your... Um, your Barbies, my feelings are not your Hot Wheels. They are nothing to be played with. with. Yeah, and so if, if I actually was like, oh, well, you're separated, I guess, you know, there's a connection there. I'll give it a try. And then you allow me to build something with you to the point where I am emotionally invested because that is one thing that about me that I will be crazy about. And that is my feelings. I will get crazy over my feelings. So if you hurt my feelings, <laughs> now I got to ruin both of your lives. <laughs> That's just it. I'm right. going to be calling jobs. I'm going to be having a Barbara and Shirley moment with your wife. Like, <laughs> I would be crazy off of that. Listen. That means, that means if I was like, okay, you're separated, but I'll be with you, that means that you have fought for it to get me to, you know, try it with you. You know what I mean? If I had gotten past that point to where I was like, even though you're separated, I'll be with you, you have, you know, tried and tried and tried and tried to get me to be with you. And I finally said yes. You know, I'm, I'm confused about that job thing because, like, is there some type of clause in your contract where if you're married but you have an affair with somebody that's not working there, like, they can fire you for that? Like, oh, what does that do? I don't know about jobs, but I know that that could be, like, a, a, a thing in, like, the final divorce. 
So oh. like say like if um because technically you are still married even though you're separated. Right. So if, say if like your your wife who you're separated with caught you outside of that relationship and then y'all you know are going to the paperwork of the final divorce, she could be like, well I want the house and you'd be like, well. I want the house. What you mean? Why do you get the house? And then she'll be like, well, you went outside the relationship while we were still separated, you know. See, I, yeah, I need to talk to an attorney because uh, if you, like, file paperwork where you're legally separated, like, do you have to, do, can you not date anybody? Because I just thought it was, you just out living outside the home um, for a year, because it has to be a year. You're living outside the home or whatever, and after that you can go with but if you can't like be with somebody else then I don't okay. think you can I don't think you can um granted I'm not an attorney I don't know right right you, but I don't think you can because it's just the same as if like you married someone and then they cheated while y'all were still married say you weren't separated it's just the same thing because you're only separated meaning you're not living in the same household so you're only separated and so like say if you weren't separated and you cheated outside the marriage that's you know cost for like you know that other person getting everything they want during the divorce because you went outside the marriage you know what i mean right. so i feel like i think if i'm not mistaken it's the same thing as that because you're only separated meaning you're not together in the same household you know stuff like that but you're still married so it's still the same thing but i'm not an attorney i don't know nothing about that um we have two comments okay um stefan said i never understood the saying you have the cake and eat it too like we don't always eat the cake i feel like <laughs> it's being funny i um, appreciate that <laughs> but uh and then sharon cook taylor said no unless you are legally divorced i don't have time for you right but sharon i i totally agree that's why i don't care when a guy said oh but i'm separated i don't care <laughs> not legal you're not like le i don't care even with legal separation is like doing the paperwork and it's on file where legally separate no to me legally separated is divorce like there's no ties there so when i do start dating you as courtney was saying i'm gonna develop feelings for you fool so therefore i may want to let's say if i was romantic enough i may want to be with you like uh marry you but i we can't because you're still I don't understand women like that. Like y'all just be wasting y'all time. Y'all be believing these lies. Like God, I know somebody that was dealing with somebody for a long time that was married, and he just kept stringing her along, stringing her along, stringing her along. He was like, "Oh, when my kids graduate high school. Oh, when my kids graduate college. Oh, when my my daughter has her grandbaby. Like, yeah, girl, seriously. Like, and then guess what? Now she's damn near fifty years old." by herself because she was waiting on that man another reason why i can't be a side chick like you said i need attention so the fact that i know that somebody is above Wait, me a lot of animals i don't appreciate it <laughs> so yeah i'm not doing I've it. Had too much on my drink tonight so okay so that pretty much wraps up all of the questions that we have um uh we'll be back next sunday um we, we probably have like a special guest um up here as well um but i'll post the flyer probably like 48 hours 24 hours ahead but um thanks for tuning in thanks for joining us thanks for coming and thanks for watching um don't forget to subscribe to all the channels like all the pages or whatnot um the yummy tummy facebook uh the i've noticed podcast um the youtube instagram courtney's instagram full My court instagram is full court f-u-l-l-c-o-r-t no you absolutely and kista is tagged you can also follow her as well um she should be back next week she's praising the lord today um pray for us kista <laughs> bye you guys bye.